Hi, Cynthia with AQ Lighting and Brian. Um, today, this is actually, although it's a classic fixture, um, it comes in a variety of different ways, which I really like. So why did you want to talk about this beauty? Um, love the fixture. People love it. These things are going in. You name the venue, name the room. Mm. They're putting it in it. So it's just a, it's a hot seller, and I just wanted to show everybody, you know, all the different colors because we do have some new finishes compared to what we had, say, six months ago or a year ago. Okay, okay, good. And then we also talked about some challenges and some questions that you have had, and we are going to answer those during this process. And then the grand finale is you get to see more install it, which, <laughs> which I'm doing it because I'm going to show you how easy it is. Um, so, okay, so first of all, we know um, that it's 16 inches in diameter, so it's, it's quite expansive. We know it's a two-piece fixture, which a lot of them aren't. Exactly. So why is this two pieces? So two pieces, uh, one reason it's two pieces is I can take a white uh, socket and the top and I can put it on a red pendant. Now I can have a dual colored pendant if I want to. Right. Uh, I, I can do that with any of these colors. It doesn't matter. Or, you know, stay with all red, stay with all copper. It doesn't matter. So it just gives you more choices and everybody loves choices. Yeah. And in the design world, uh, if you have a Pantone color, we can match that color. So that's something that it can be specific for your application. Um, there was something else. The cord is like almost 60 inches almost long. 60 inches long. But you may not need 60 inches of cord. So, with this guy. So, say this one we cut, and you need to know how to cut it. So, no, 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 let me get closer. There's a, can you see that? There's a set screw right there. So, we loosen the set screw. There's a clamp right here. You loosen the clamp. You pull it through to the height that you want. And then you clamp it back down. It's a simple screw and you clamp it here. And then these wires are inside this cable. So you just strip these, right? That's it. Yeah. So I, it, it's good for you to know the simplicity of the design. So that, that's awesome, that's what I wanted to show you. That's one thing, shorten the cord. I think we need to point out, all of these fixtures have a white interior. So we've had pendant lights in the past where it was all red, all black. Mm. So all of these, all of the shades have a white interior, including the black. You know, I just remembered one question that I get a lot. Sometimes it's, it's hard to really tell on your computer screen, you know, what color of black would you call this? Right. So, um, this is a matte black. This is a very clean, on point matte black. There you go. Matte black. Versus shiny, you know, the shiny ones. The other thing that's good for the white interior, when you pick your bulb, if you're picking warm white, cool white, and different, you know, there's all different colors of white now, um, the accuracy of the tone of white that you want is captured because of the white interior. So there, there's a reason behind the design. What else do we have? Um, okay, I'm a little nervous about installing it. I'm postponing procrastination. I think, uh, I think we're ready. Medium base socket, pretty simple that way. Okay. So we do use a lot of different kinds of bulbs in here, and we'll show you uh, the bulbs after we get it installed there. All right, all right. You're all right, I'm going okay. in. I think I have to take off my jacket for this. I'm getting nervous. Let them see you sweat. Yeah. So easy. No big deal. So these are done. You know, you'll see this over your islands, right? Um, if you have a barn or a large game room, a pool room, you'll use them there. Uh, because they actually call this a barn light, right? Yeah, we do. Um, all yeah, right, here we go. go. So you have three different colors here. Black is live, white's neutral, green is your ground. 
my copper wire up here is already bonded to this screw. So we're good. They turn the lights off, believe it. <laughs> it's just so you know I'm not going to get shot. Uh, so we are going to do this guy part. I had to twist them. We're going to do the ground first. Oh, we're going to do the ground first. You're right. And then the white. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so ground here. You can bend those other wires out of your way. I'm not as coordinated as these guys are. You know what I discovered I love about wire nuts? They just make it so easy. Like once they're in there, gone. Okay, so then you're right, I did ground first. I'm doing neutral, which is white on white. Okay, that's it. All right. Now, there's two little things. Oh, wait a minute. I got to push these back in. Can you imagine if I was a professional how fast this would go? This is pretty fast considering. This is the first time I've done this. Alright. So these are in the same finish as this canopy. Now is this our, uh, is this what we call our rustic, rustic brown or rustic bronze? Bronze. Ooh. Retro. Retro, there you go. Retro bronze. This is one of the top finishes. We selected this color. Uh, one, it's one of the top finishes, and two, it went really well with our display. Now, you can tell right now, the cable has a, a little bit of kink to it, but with a little bit of time and a little bit of weight, that cable's gonna straighten right out. So, yeah. You, it may not do it the first day, but... And you can even will. take a cloth and just, you know, run through it. All right, so here, what do you, what do you call this? I'm going to call it a retaining nut, but uh, there, I'm sure there could be a more professional term for that. <laughs> All right, so I removed that. You saw how easy it is. It's just a medium base socket, which is your standard socket that you have in a household lamp. All right, I'm going to push this through here. You saw how fast that was. That's all I did. Do we want to put a bulb in here and see if I actually got it working? <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Let's see. Let's see so, how I did. One of my favorite bulbs. I call it a puck light bulb. Very flat. I think it just it goes up inside, way up inside it. And yeah. It just looks nice. It looks great. It just disappears basically. This is, this is great when you have multiples, you know, an overall even glow where the bulb is not the design feature. The design feature is actually your fixture. You see anything? Oh, they're trying to turn it on. <laughs> oh! Look at that! Okay, so it's good for you to know that uh, that's how easy it is. Obviously, I haven't done this before, um, and, the, and it's nice for you to see how easy it is. I'm gonna, should we move this ladder? Yeah, there you go. My legs are all shaky. Do that all <laughs> oh, okay, that bulb's beautiful. That's a great glow. You have stuff on top of the ladder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, let me shut off the display. Oh, that's a good idea. Then you can really see it. Maybe. Now these come yeah. in. Down you can buy them down. individually. You can buy them in a two pack, and you can buy them in a five pack. And you really like the five pack because it really it secures um, 
from those logistic companies may be being a little too rough with our fixtures, and, and we've had them really well. Absolutely. Should we turn this off? Do you want to see the Edison bulb? Yeah, I just unscrew it. Oh yeah, bolts don't get hot anymore. <laughs> LED keeps them cool. Oh my gosh, can you see how beautiful that is? I don't know if this will blind you, but I'm gonna tilt it up. So, I mean, if the bulb is an additional design feature, that's stunning. Uh, so you can see, this is functional, and uh, this is beautiful. I think we did it.